So if you just passed your AZ900 exam, a big congratulations to you. You've done such a great job. And if you're planning on taking this exam real soon, then this video is gonna be for you. So I've had many questions related to the AZ900 exam. Some asking why they should take it, others asking what jobs they can apply for once they've taken and passed this exam certification. And some asking what's next after passing this certification, what direction can they go next? What is the next certification or what do I do next to continue preparing myself for a job in cloud? So let's answer some of these questions in this video to give viewers a clearer understanding of how this certification can be used. So for those hearing about this certification for the first time, the AZ900 Azure Fundamentals is a foundational certification that gives you a foundational understanding of Azure and cloud computing in general. As a matter of fact, the AZ900 was the first cloud certification that I took when I was starting my cloud journey. The certification is aimed at giving you a really good introduction to cloud services as well as Azure and Azure core services specifically. It is not a practical certification. So there's a lot of theoretical information and knowledge about cloud computing and about Azure, but it doesn't necessarily go into how these things are actually used and how to actually practically go in and use these things. There may be AZ900 courses that have a few labs going into more detail on some basic things, but generally this certification is very theoretical and does not have much practical exercise within. So let's answer the big question. Is the AZ900 Azure Fundamentals really worth it? Like the answer to many questions, it depends. It depends on where you are and what you're trying to do. It depends on your current knowledge on the cloud industry or on Azure specifically. It depends on what roles you're going for or what your future looks like. It depends on where you're at in life or in your career. It depends on loads of things, but let's run through a few. So if you have little or no understanding of cloud computing and want a certification that can give you that foundational understanding of cloud computing, how it works, what it's used for, how Azure specifically is used and the core services within Azure, then this is the certification for you. It will give you a good foundational understanding. And like I said, if you're starting with little or no knowledge, this is the place to start. And from here, you can easily move on to other certifications like your associate certification. But if you had little to no knowledge of cloud computing or Azure and wanted to go straight into those associate certifications, it will be so much harder to pass these certifications without going through the AZ900 first. So if you've been working in tech for a while, or maybe you just already have a great understanding of cloud through your study or through maybe other cloud certifications, then the AZ900 might be really redundant and repeat information that you've learned already. So it might not be worth going through this certification if you already have a great understanding of cloud computing or Azure. If that's you, then going straight on to do an associate certification would probably be ideal. So for me, one of the great uses that I see for the AZ900 is that it's really good for helping you decide whether the cloud computing industry is of interest to you. So say you're trying to figure out what you want to do next. You want to look into cloud computing and get some understanding to figure out if maybe being a cloud engineer or cloud solutions architect is the prospect for your future. You want to figure that out and get some understanding of that. Going for the AZ900 is a really good way of starting that journey then deciding, do I wanna go further with this? Do I wanna do some projects? Do I wanna or go on and do a further certification on the associate level? I think the AZ900 is a really good way of deciding. So I hope for each of you watching this video, if it's something you're planning to take or deciding whether you should take it or not, you can decipher and figure out for yourself, what does it mean? Do I have enough knowledge of this? Do I wanna learn more? Do I wanna figure out my path? And hopefully this will help you to understand whether you should take this certification or not. So for those who have already got their AZ900, once you have that exam passed, it's time to figure out what you're gonna do next. And a good place to start is basic project. Implement some of the stuff you learned in the AZ900, create your first virtual machine and virtual network, create resource groups and create groups and users in Azure AD, which is now called Microsoft Entra. So create users and groups in Microsoft Entra. Play around with the various services and tools in Azure using your Azure free trial credits, which anyone can go and get. All you need to do is to create a Microsoft account and a card to put in your card details. And then you can use the Azure free trial, which gives you about, if I remember correctly, about 200, free credits that you can use to 
use different services, play around with Azure, do some projects, and to figure out your journey in Azure without paying actual money. And I think while you're doing this kind of kind of basic project phase, one of the really good things to do is to document what you're doing and document this in a way that, that you can present and explain what you've done to an employer. The fact that you've gone out of your way to do this as a project could be really impressive to some employers, especially for those junior and entry level cloud roles. After those basic projects, perhaps it's time to go for an associate certification or maybe move on to some more advanced projects. And if you're looking for more projects, I'll put some videos up here that you guys can go and check out some of your projects. These will probably be really helpful in continuing that journey. Remember that certifications, especially at the associate level, need practical labs and projects to go along with them for you to get the most out of what you're learning. If you've completed your AZ900 as your fundamentals and done some projects, perhaps it's time to move on to an associate certification like the AZ-104 or the AZ-500 or the AZ-204 or whatever floats your boat. Have a look at these associate Azure certifications and figure out which one matches what you want to do in the future or what you figured out that you like from the AZ-900. And that will be really helpful in helping you to understand what you want to do moving forward, helping you to build your expertise and break into the cloud industry. I hope this video has been super helpful in explaining the as your fundamentals AZ900 exam and how it is really worth it depending on who you are and what you need it for. I hope you guys have really enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one.